Uh, Facebook released three mobile apps this week uh, for Windows 10. Uh, the Facebook app and the Facebook Messenger app are available on Windows 10 for PCs and tablets. And the Instagram app is available on Windows 10 Mobile. And these apps replace whatever apps were there before. Um, they're kind of interesting because they're not actually universal Windows platform apps. They're whatever, I can't remember the name of it, but whatever Facebook's uh, cross-platform technology is for moving their apps around to different platforms, uh, it's based on that technology. Um, I would say on the Windows PC side, Facebook is not super, super different. Um, I than love it that they have a standalone or, app. They don't have that yet on the Mac. You have to go to m.e. Yeah. So right. this is uh, it's good to have a standalone. It's app. good that it's there, yeah. yeah. And Facebook Messenger, I believe that's the first on Windows, so that's neat. Yeah, that's great. Um, on the phone side, we've already we've had Facebook Messenger for a while. I assume yeah. the existing Messenger app is you know just whatever it was. Right. Um, and then it, uh, Instagram used to be basically Instagram beta for Windows Phone. Now it's the full blown Instagram uh, for Windows mm -hmm. 10 Mobile. So that's cool. That's great. You know, you know what's weird about these though. I I asked Microsoft point blank, are these UWP apps? And they said yeah. yes. Oh. They said yes. But so, then they said, but you should ask Facebook. And I asked Facebook, and, <laughs> and they, they were no. completely evasive, like uh -huh. just didn't even answer the question. So it is. Somebody on. They don't want you to know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. So to be a universal, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a gray thing, right? I mean, I, I, yeah. I don't use them enough to know if they t take advantage of all these kinds of features. But I, w I would say uh, they do offer lifestyle support. They work with notifications. I mean, they, they exhibit behavior that I would associate with the Universal Windows Platform app. Um, that said, uh, you don't have to be a Universal Windows Platform app to use those features necessarily. Um, so I don't know. Um, yeah. My understanding is that they are not re true. They're Osmeta, right? Osmeta yeah, Osmeta, apps. that's the term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. To the average user, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I the you and I, Mary Jo and I, had discussed when this first happened because it was one of those fog of war things. You know, Microsoft announced this, and they they said we are releasing. And there's been a little bit of weird history with the Facebook apps on Windows Phone in particular, where it was Microsoft who uh, didn't first develop them, but uh, first developed the original Facebook app. But they bought the code from whatever company did, and then maintained it for a while. Um, and so the thought in the beginning was, well, maybe these you know, Microsoft did this. In which case, why wouldn't they be talking about the fact that it was a universal Windows platform mm -hmm. app? Uh, but actually, Facebook later came out with their own announcement, and they said, you know, we made these things. <laughs> and, and Yeah. Um, I, okay. And you know what? I don't think most people care. It's the, These are the official apps. Um, I think really the only weirdism is that they're just not universally available across the platform. Um, why wouldn't all three of these, these apps be available on PCs as well as mobile? So maybe that happens over time.